Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And that's going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 20th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have basically fallen apart in the US dollar index the last two, two weeks and a half. Um, we are getting fairly overstretched. We're you know, trending significantly underneath the 50 moving average, and we'll most likely have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 in the next uh, few days. Technicals are all very bearish indeed, and this has, of course, had major implications uh, for some of uh, commodities and the precious metals out there. So it's also, uh, for example, the currency pairs. If you look at my, my currency video, or for an exchange video, you can see that, for example, a US dollar, due to the fact that the US dollar has fallen significantly today, the Great British Pound and the US dollar has rallied significantly, and so has the other, other major currencies. So let's look at oil. So oil has rallied a bit. We are just staying at the same area which we have been for the last uh, two trading days or basically three trading days at give or take 63.34. So technical gears are fairly mixed. The RSI is flat. The CCI is becoming bearish. It's still in bullish territory, but it's becoming bearish. The stochastic is basically flat and the MACD is bullish at this current stage. So we are having a crossing here of the 50 and the 20 exponential. That should be a bullish shine. Um, if we have a pullback from here, we'll most likely find support down here at uh, 61.33. If we break below that, then we could head all the way down to the very bottom again. But uh, due to the fact that the US dollar is depreciating, then this should be a bullish shine for, uh, for oil. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas is really surprising, to be fairly honest. Um, didn't expect this to rally uh, at this time of year, but we did have a this double bottom here, and we are at this current stage rallying significantly above the 50 moving average. We're up uh, quite a bit today. Uh, we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 within the next uh, few trading days, but we are getting fairly over ahead of ourselves at this current stage. We are significantly outside of the Bollinger Band and we're approaching overbought territory here in the RSI. Other technicals are very bullish indeed. MACD is heading into bullish territory well above the signal line. Stochastic is bullish and the CCI is bullish. If you look at Fibonacci retracement, for example, for, for this, we can see that we have crossed the 50 and we're heading towards the 61.8 up here at the 2.8352. So this is probably where we'll find major, uh, major resistance and uh, head back down towards the 50 moving average. So let's look at copper. So copper had a really bad day on Friday and today we rallied quite significantly and gave most of those gains back. So we are getting fairly overstretched here. We could see this drop towards back towards the middle of the bullish band at give or take 4.09. Technical English are still fairly bullish, but uh, it is we are fairly overstretched. And um, continuing rallying from here, that will only mean that we'll have a, a bigger drop in the next few trading days. So a pullback is kind of needed in order for this to go higher. So we'll most likely target these previous highs. We got, we're getting fairly close to 4.32, and that is most likely where we are going to target. So let's look at gold. So gold has been rallying the last few trading days, especially on Thursday and on Friday, that gold did really well. And today we did rally up towards uh, um, 1,788, uh, almost got towards 1,800 and then broke down quite aggressively, creating this inverted hammer. And usually that means that we'll probably break down towards uh, 1,750. And if that basically breaks, we could head all the way down to 1,700 down here at the bottom of the bullish band. So it is to be seen. We, it looks like we're going to have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50. And if that occurs, then that is a very bullish shine. Then we can basically see this bounce of the 50 moving average and head all the way up towards 1800 and probably 1850. Technically, indicators, they are fairly bullish at this current stage. The RSI is flat. 
the CCI is turning around still in bullish territory, but otherwise uh, other indicators are fairly bullish at this current stage. So let's look at silver. So silver has run into resistance here at the 50 moving average and uh, the top of the bullish band. Technical for silver are turning around. So it looks like we are going to head back towards the 20 or probably the middle of the bullish band at the 200 moving average. If that breaks, then we could head all the way down to the $24 range. So yes, it doesn't look like uh, we are going to go significantly higher here. If we manage to break above the 50 moving average, which we have been rejected twice um, these uh, the last two trading days, then we could head towards the 27, but it looks fairly unlikely at this current stage. So let's look at uh, Platinum. So Platinum has rallied up towards uh, 1228 and then gave all of those gains back so we are trading just above the 50 moving average um, at give or take 1208 technically guess they are well they are still bullish um, but this is a kind of a warning sign that we are getting rejected this you know, not even getting close to the top of the bullish band so if we break below the 50 moving average then we have the 20 underneath and then we will come, could drop all the way down to 1150 Five. So at this current stage, it is basically in the middle of nowhere. I would say far away from this. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has rallied. Oh, we are getting really close towards uh, um, towards the three uh, thousand here. So due to the fact that we basically broke out of this this um, triangle, we have basically been rallying ever since. So. At this current stage, we are gaining fairly overstretched, as we can see that we are uh, we have a major pullback here, and we're still above the above the uh, bullish band. We can also see that we are still overbought. We are 71 here in RSI. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish, but a pullback towards these previous highs, a give or take, um, 22 um, 2200, that is most likely uh, where we are going to head find support we can see that the 20 exponential will also move in this direction and that will also offer additional support at this current stage the target will most likely be at, at 3000 so let's look at uh, aluminium so aluminium is uh, still at the very top of the bullish band and uh, if you look at the historical pattern here in the last uh, few months it has basically been rallying up towards the top of the bullish band and then broken all the way to the middle. Rally towards the middle, rally, and now it looks like we're heading back towards the middle. That is at 2,247. Technical indicators are, well, fairly mixed. The RSI is flat, CCI is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the, the MACD is still bullish at this current stage. But a pullback from here is most likely uh, what it will occur before going higher. So let's look at nickel. So nickel is uh, still in basically in the middle of nowhere. We did break down towards the 200 moving average and then pull back, but still we need to break above the 20 or below the 200 in order to determine where this technically is going. Otherwise, it's just hanging around in the same place and it's just untradeable at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has finally found uh, resistant and that was kind of expected. We were significantly outside of the bullish band here and now we are basically broken back inside and it's going to be uh, interesting to see whether or not the 50 moving average will act as a support when we basically test it, if we do test it. So technically indicators otherwise the the stochastic is bearish, the CCI is still bullish territory, but it's turning around. And the RSI is uh, bearish and the MACD is bullish at this current stage. So a testing of the 50 moving average, if that breaks, then we'll head back towards the 20. Then we're here at 0.1567. Otherwise, um, if this bounces from here, then we could head up towards 0.1750. So let's look at cotton. So cotton has been completely rejected at the 50 moving average and uh, 
that is not a really good sign. So we have this inverted Hamdir, which is also a bearish signal. So we have the RSI, which is bearish, the CCI is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, and the MACD is still bullish, but in negative territory. So we could head back towards these previous lows if the 20 and the middle of the bullish bound break. Uh, if we break above the 50, which looks uh, fairly improbable at this current stage, then we could head to all the way up to 0 0.9 but it looks like we are going to drop back towards these previous lows. So let's look at Kukoa. So Kukoa has broken above the 50 moving average, which is a fairly a nice move for, for Kukoa. And we, has, we have the 20 exponential here, which most likely will cross the 20, 200 and the 50 moving average in the next uh, trading days if this continues. Technically, the have all turning around and are very bullish at this current stage. MACD is still in negative territory, but well above the signal line. And uh, we are basically trading above the 50 moving average, which is also a very good sign. If you get another candlestick here and uh, basically a close below above the 50 moving average, that is a um, bullish signal that we most likely had towards these previous highs again at 2.663. So let's look at wheat. So we has uh, it has been fairly overstretched the last four trading days. We can see it, it's been way outside of the bullish band here. We are, if you look at other technical indicators, they are technically turning around. So the stochastic is turning around, CCI is turning around, and so is the RSI. MACD will most likely also follow. This is probably as far as this would go. So we'll most likely round off here and head back towards the downside. If the 50 moving average offers support, then we could bounce from it and head towards these previous highs. But due to the fact that we have been rejected here this often, it's, it, we kind of have to see what basically happens when we pull back towards the 50 in order to determine whether or not we are going to break to the downside or head back towards the previous highs over here. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.